So this is a second take on the Oz Air mask that I failed to mention on my previous video. But before we get into that, you would have noticed on and off on my previous videos that I would wear this Air Vita M1 unit by a company called Eyeball. Um, one thing I haven't actually mentioned on my previous video, which I sh hope you check out, uh, link down below by the way, is the fact that this, I thought the brush in the middle was a filter, but they actually corrected me as follows. So I'm going to read it out, so hopefully it'll make sense to you. So, instead of using filter to filter out of the pollutant, Airvida is taking advantage of negative ions, okay? Through the unique breathing pathway ion technology, which this Airvida has, would uh, generate more than 2 million of negative ions every second near user's breath way. So this is 15 centimeters from the carbon brushes, and the negative ions would attach on the fine particles uh, this is like most of the most of the particles are positively charged and making the particle heavier chunk and thus falling to the ground air vida would eff effectively reduce the pm 2.5 pollen and allergen in which you breathe okay so i hope you understand a bit more about this brilliant product i also want to let you know that as i was recording this video i just received the mod s2 mask which was designed in netherlands so i'm very excited about it so basically on my next video what i'll try to do is compare with the kf94 mask and the um, osk air mask and the MODS2 mask, three of them, regards to the comfortable level and also the breathability level of each unit. So I hope you guys stay tuned on my next video. So the main query I've been asked from my previous video was that how comfortable it is to breathe with the blowout valves. But before we get into that test of my own personal experience, I also asked the representative of Airvida the purpose of these blowout valves and they replied back to me straight away saying that the blowout valve option disables the exhalation valve so this creates two-way protection and filtration as well so we recommend customers to use the blowout feature if they are unwell or traveling in congested area in other words let's say if you caught a cold or if you probably might think you got a COVID-19 I guess uh, and if you want to make sure that doesn't spread out you put in the blockout valves or if you fear that uh, the crowded place is in a high risk of being infected with cold uh, germs or COVID-19 etc this layer hopefully will add the extra protection on it so without further ado let's actually replace the standard rubber with the blowout valve so what you do is take that out and then replace it with the blowout valve so the text actually is shown on the back of the valve so then what you do is put it in click sound so we're all ready to go so here it goes Right, so immediately what I can sense is that there's more blocked out feel, a bit more difficult to breathe, but it's not significantly different, but maybe I'm sensing a bit more air leak somewhere else around the area. So what I'm gonna do is try it out with glasses on to see whether fogginess is gonna appear. So here it goes. I think there was a bit of a fogginess there but then again I was breathing very heavily that there has been a confusion on my previous video regards to the filters and etc so um, it's regarding the filters versus the valves so the black stainless steel valves allow for air to be exhaled more rapidly this silicon disc which rests inside each of the valves prevents air from being inhaled the valves do not filter the air Okay, so the filter is the item which the valve and outer skin connects to and this has achieved the test results. Okay, so that's been clarified. Now, regards to the du durability and strength of the skin, um, 
unfortunately on the front side of the, the spongy kind of side I saw a bit of a dent and I think there was a tiny particle that fell off I don't know how that happened probably it was my sharp nail um, but on the back side I know that there's this elastic uh, kind of um, bits that's supporting the spongy bits so also there's a video clip on their uh, updates that you could check out that they're actually holding weights and this will actually last very <laughs> long way through so I have no doubt this is going to be strong enough to support it now regards to the how washable the skin is there's also another video clip of their updated post of them actually chucking in the uh, the outer skin into the washing machine so I guess that's going to be fine but I guess I could come back to you after if there's been any issue after I wash this few times now the breathability of the skin we already talked about this from this video and the previous video uh, the block out valves and new general thoughts on the functions which I have actually clarified um, the ear loop comfort now this is something I failed to explain a lot of people actually said that my ear was not comfortably fit and I just had to clarify that which is if you put this on immediately I sense this pulling on the top so what I tend to do is sort of release it by moving my finger around my ear so it's more relaxed feel now and I hope that you can see that my ear is fitting much better now lastly overall impression of the quality again I have to come back to the front spongy kind of feel I'm a bit disappointed that there is this dent cut that has been created but I do know that on the back side there's this again elastic kind of uh, protection layer and also the filter there's a filter there that actually does its um, work as well so overall i mean the backside looks quite cool it feels like yeah you're actually properly treating yourself um, but only thing that i'm slightly concerned in few months time is how many dent am i going to create more of these sort of dents in the future but overall i mean this is premium mask which i should really cherish with it and i'm sure it's going to protect me with so many things because this has been proved in the lab and um, i have great trust on the quality made uh, and the design that is produced from australia i also forgot to mention about this bag so this was a stretch goal item that has been unlocked and it's called the copper infused bag so this has been uh, independently tested in a lab uh, under the ASTM E2149 condition and it's proven to reduce up to 99.83% of microbes which it comes into contact with so in other words let's say you finish using the mask or um, you're out about and you're in a condition you don't, no longer need the mask all you need to do is open up the bag and fit in your mask i hope that clarify most of the things that you are wondering about but overall if you have any further queries or if you want to hear more updates about me in the near future please do comment below and i'll try to come back to you as soon as possible anyway thank you very much for watching this video this is ltp tech speak to you soon all the best bye bye